the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus division three digit dividend and a two digit divisor example 650 divided by 25 let us set the dividend 650 on the right side of the abacus that is number 6 in the hundreds column 5 in the tens column and 0 in the units column let us set the divisor 25 on the left extreme of the abacus we have to do two things here first we have to decide where the quotient should be set and the second one is to make a decision on the assumed quotient as the first digit of the divisor is less than the highest digit of the dividend 6 the first digit of the quotient should be set by skipping one column to the left of 6 now let us make a decision on the assumed quotient let us take up the digit 2 of the divisor and ask how many twos are in 6 there are 3 it is always safe to reduce 1 from 3 and consider number 2 as the assumed quotient and proceed with the abacus operations and see what happens let us set the number 2 in the quotient area and start multiplying it with the divisor 25 and subtract it from the number 650 let us start multiplying the quotient 2 with the number 2 of the divisor the multiplied value is 4 that should be subtracted from the number 6 of the dividend that means we have to clear 5 in the upper abacus and add 1 in the lower abacus now let us multiply the quotient 2 with the 5 of the divisor and subtract 10 from 25 in the dividend that means 1 should be reduced from the number 2 of the dividend now we are left with 150 in the dividend in the first stage the assumed quotient is the correct quotient and let us uh, see what happens in the next stage of the division take the first digit of the divisor 2 and the first two digits of the dividend that are 15 ask uh, how many twos in 15 they are seven to be on the safe side reduce one that will make it six set the assumed quotient to the right of the already set quotient two and multiply it uh, with the divisor 25 and subtract the same from the remaining part of the dividend by saying uh, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 uh, subtract 1 in the hundreds column and 2 in the tens column in the tens column you have to subtract 5 uh, and add 3 in the next stage multiply 6 uh, with 5 uh, which is 30 that should be subtracted from the remaining part of the dividend here also the assumed quotient is the correct one and therefore we get the result as 26 which is the quotient and 0 as the remainder